YouTube placement ads, or otherwise known as putting ads on specific YouTube channels. I'm going to walk you through step by step how you can do this because Google are slowly making this harder and harder for advertisers. But don't worry, at the time of this recording in 2023, it is still possible to put ads on specific YouTube channels. Make sure you stay through to the end of this video because there's a sneaky setting that Google have embedded that you need to change that will go beyond what you want to do. So make sure you watch what I do step by step the whole way through. If you like this video, don't forget, hit that thumbs icon and subscribe. Let's go do this. So welcome to the Teach Traffic YouTube channel. As mentioned, I'm going to walk you through step by step how you can put ads on specific YouTube channels that you choose, not Google, you choose. It's a really, really good way to start and sort of dip your toe in the water with advertising on YouTube because the reality is, and what I sort of tell people inside teachtraffic.com, that success with YouTube ads hinges on three core factors. The first is nailing your targeting, the second is nailing your ad, and the third is nailing your offer. So by choosing specific channels to advertise on, you've really eliminated the variable of am I actually getting in front of my right audience and have I nailed my targeting? because you've chosen the channels that people watch that would, you know, if they're watching it, would deem them to be your target audience, okay? So that's what we're going to walk you through in this video. So here I am in my live Google ad account. It's also worth mentioning that Google are slowly taking this feature away from us advertisers who want to be really strategic. So maybe if you're watching this, you know, sometime after I've recorded it, perhaps this feature has gone, but right now it's still possible. So I'm going to show you how. So here we are in this live Google ad account. We're going to hit this plus icon to create a new campaign. Also worth mentioning, you're going to need two things. You're going to need to know the video URL that is going to be for the ad that you're running. And you're also going to need the uh, landing page that you're sending the traffic to. And lastly, also where you want to advertise. So I just grabbed the Mr. Beast channel, but you're going to need to know the channel URLs that you want to advertise on. Okay, so here we are. We're going to create a new campaign. We're actually going to choose to create a campaign without a goal guidance. And this is uh, important because if we actually choose uh, sales or leads, which is obviously what you might want, then we're not going to be able to remove the display network from our targeting. And therefore, it's not going to achieve what we want to achieve. So you need to choose this create a campaign without a goal guidance. And then we're going to choose video. And then this is going to ask me to select a campaign subtype. And I'm going to choose uh, the video views one where, you know, it says your ads can show a skippable in stream, in feed and shorts ads. Okay. So then we click next or continue. And this is where we need to put in some of our information. So we're going to give our campaign a name. So video views, I'll just call it test. Obviously you'd call it whatever you want. Our bid strategy, unfortunately we can't change this. Uh, we're going to do target cost per view. It would be nice to do um, some of the um, maximum cost per view, but um, you know, such as this is one of the other things that Google is slowly taking away from us. Uh, budget, so we're going to set a daily budget, let's just say of $10, uh, and we can obviously set a start and end date. Here is the sneaky setting I mentioned at the start of this video where we want to deselect the Google Display Network and say, no thank you Google, I definitely do not want my ads to show on the Display Network. I uh, can just, you know, obviously you put in your countries, uh, that you the locations you want to target. I'll just leave this for now for the purpose of this video. The language is English, that's fine. Um, so we don't want to add any related videos. I'm going to actually deselect this multi-format ad um, because um, I just don't want to do that. And then here is where we're going to uh, give our ad group a name. So I'm going to call it place placements. And this way I know I've got all my placements in this particular ad group. And this is where we are choosing our targeting. And this is where we're going to actually go to the placement section here. And this is where we're going to put in the 
URLs of the channel uh, that we want to target or channels rather. So you can find YouTube channels uh, this way requiring a search or we can just simply enter the URLs uh, line by line and put in a list. So you simply go like this and go right click and go copy and put it in here and then obviously you would put in multiple channels here and then click add. It's not going to let me add just one placement so you need to do like about 10 or so, 10 channel URLs but that's how you do it basically um, and so yeah that's how we're going to do it and then we're also going to need as I said at the start of this video uh, the URL of our video so then we copy this and we go here and here is the video ad that we're going to run we're going to run skippable in stream ad I don't want to do the in feed video ad that's going to show up in the actual feed and it's just not going to get as good results as we're going to get with our skippable in stream and then this is where we put in the final URL which is where we're sending the traffic to when somebody clicks on the ad uh, the display URL is what is shown in the ad so if I go teach traffic dot com slash gotcha you'll see it will update here hopefully uh, let me just put in the final URL we do want to have a call to action then you can see here this has come up here and our call to action will be uh, download we've obviously got a character limit here otherwise I'd like to put in download now um, and then we can also put in a headline which is also got a character limit of 15 characters so I just put in sneaky settings <laughs> for my headline and we can also um, upload a companion banner which is when somebody skips the ad it will be shown at the top of the search um, the search of the suggested videos on the right so definitely uh, upload an image there and then we can hopefully see what our ad looks like here and then we can set a maximum uh, cost per view bid and so let's just set it for maybe 10 cents and then we can uh, create our campaign so there you have it that's how easy it is to create a placement campaign on YouTube and target specific channels to show ads on. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs icon and subscribe and maybe check out my website teachtraffic.com for all our training courses and get my help directly. Thanks for watching.